Tackle Junkies, what's going on, fellas? Did you guys know if you're using a reel with a shallow spool and you're using a heavier pound test, you're actually slowing your reel down? Let me explain. All right, fellas, today's upload is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. I will have them linked down below at the top of the description. Definitely check them out for your tackle needs. Rods, reels, soft plastics, hard baits, accessories. You need it. Carl's has it. Keep checking over there every month because they do add more and more each month. I'm sure if you guys have been around for a while, you'll know. You know, now from the beginning, they've added much more to the website. So, again, keep a lookout for that. Again, link down below. Up to 30% off. If you guys choose to sign up for Carl's Club, good example right here. I just picked up this Tatula 150. I think full retail, no matter where you buy it, is like 159. But buying it over Carl's, you do get, I believe, the $36 credit added to your account. So about 20% off you're getting on the reels if you do pick them up over Carl's. Like I said, check them out linked down below. All right, fellas. So today what we're talking about is spool size and heavier pound test. Now, for the most part, I use like a 100 size reel. If you hear on the deck, and you know, we got a Steez, we got the Elite, okay? Not huge reels. I believe these are 100 size reels. If you want to compare, let's go ahead and compare. I got a 150 Tatula over here. If you want to compare that to the Elite, you'll see that Tatula on the left or on my left, is a little bit bigger, okay? So when you're talking 150, really what that is is spool size, but obviously bigger spool, you're going to have a bigger reel as well. Now for the most part, like I said, I use a 100 size reel. You know, I do a lot of shallow cranking, spinner baits, swim jigs, I mean, and I'm not like bombing them out there. I mean, obviously I can, but I mean, fishing muddy water and things like that i'm more target fishing so i don't really need to make 40 and 50 yard casts you know if i got stumps rock things like that on average casts for me might be 30 40 yards max you know what i'm saying and that could even be long for a lot of the cover and things that i'm fishing around so with that being said no matter if i have a heavier pound test on those reels or even a lighter pound test at the end of the cast i still have a good amount of line on my reel so if i take this this buzz bait on here and i bomb it out which i'll show you guys if i bomb it out okay not that much line is really coming off the spool or i should say making it shallower okay it's a wider spool for one a bit deeper it can handle more line and that's normally when you want to go to a bigger reel a deeper spool wider spool is when you're throwing bigger baits and you're using heavier pound tests. But just for the average techniques, whether it be a buzz bait, like I said, spinner bait, whatever, and you're bombing them out there, if you put on that heavier pound test with a shallower spool, there's not gonna be that much line left on the spool at the end of your cast, which again, it's going to slow down your reel. An easy way to kind of explain it, let's say you got like a dime and you mark a starting point on that dime and you spin it till you get to that point again. If you do that with a quarter, Obviously, the quarter is going to move further because it's bigger. That's no different than with the reel. The more line on your spool at the end of the cast, the faster the reel is going to be. So kind of what I'm getting at here, if you're going to be throwing a heavier pound test with some of your techniques, like a buzz bait or something like that, like I like a six speed reel majority of the time for my buzz bait. Sometimes I'll go up to a seven speed, but I do like the power of a six. So it's already a slower reel. So if I had 17 or 20 pound test, on a, on a smaller reel or, or a shallower spool, when I bomb that out there, there's not gonna be that much line left on my spool. So what that's going to do is make the 6.3 even slower, which means it's going to bring in even less line. So when I say slower, I mean less line, faster, more line is kind of what I'm getting at. So this is a quick tip for you guys. And if you're going to be throwing, like I said, heavier pound test, you know, heavier lures, getting that further cast, you may wanna upsize some of your reels to that bigger spool, that way at the end of the cast, you still have your gear ratio. So guys, hopefully you understood what I'm saying there. Basically, you know, if you're just going to be making short casts and all that, it's not a huge deal. Even if you're just gonna be pitching and flipping, 
you can do that just fine with a hunter size reel and I personally would rather do that just because you can palm a smaller reel much better than like a 150 or a 200 size so if I'm just gonna be pitching and flipping you know 10 15 20 30 foot away from me it's not that big a deal but if you're going to put that heavy pound test on a smaller reel and try and bomb it out you're really like I said you're hurting yourself that that fast reel that you bought is no longer fast so just kind of keep in mind really what you're going to do with each reel and if you uh, if you want to put a bigger pound test on that reel or a heavier pound test on that reel you know and if it's it's techniques you're going to be bombing out there you may want to step up to that bigger spool the way you do have somewhat of a fast reel at the end of that cast so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did smash the thumbs up don't forget to check out carl's i'll have it linked down at the top of the description hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll see you guys on the next one